Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. I've recently had a question around what makes a building high risk and is it only the height that matters? Troy, this video is for you. Interestingly enough, the answer to this question was covered in a fascinating Housing, Communities and Local Government Committee in 2019 by Dame Judith Hackett. Let's roll the intro and find out the answer. I'm paraphrasing, but firstly, Tan Desi MP said, when talking about multi-occupancy high-risk residential buildings, is the height the only risk factor for buildings? He said that Lord Porter said during his witness statement session that height is a bit of a red herring and really it's the complexity of the building. Tan then asked Dame Judith Hackett, shouldn't we be using more complex variants of risk, such as the vulnerability of the occupants? She responded saying that she had seen a clear step change in terms of the number of fatalities that occur in fires when they occur in buildings of 10 storeys or more. She noted that even if you took Grenfell out of the statistics, this principle was still true. Dame Judith then went on to say that we shouldn't measure the risk of the building simply on height and that there are more complex factors such as the vulnerability of people, the number of people, whether people sleep in the building, etc. However, she made it very clear that height is a very simple and very effective way of getting started on this process and that her frustration was, we have to start somewhere. She said, and I quote, it would be eminently sensible to develop a more sophisticated tool for determining risk in the long term. But what I would hate to see happen is that becoming another reason for not getting on with it. Let's at least get started on this and then refine the methodology later to include more buildings. But let's not introduce yet more reasons for delay into this process. She also introduced a very interesting point that when we talk about 10 storeys or more, we're looking at around about 5,000 existing buildings coming into scope for remedial works. By extending it to six storeys or more, that increases the number to 12,000 or more buildings requiring remedial work. So in addition to working on the new stock coming through, we have work to do around existing buildings. Dame Judith makes it clear that we have to manage this in a phased way and that we won't be able to do everything in the first year. Hopefully now you see that judging the risk of buildings is much more complex than just the height of the building and that there are other factors at play. However, to avoid delay and get started, height will remain a key focus when judging risk. If you would like to watch the full exchange between Tan Desi and Dame Judith, the link is in the description. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.